He made him to be sin who knew no sin so that we might have the righteousness of God in him. In him. Amen. He was on that old rugged tree thinking about you and thinking about me. He died on that cross so that my soul would not be lost. He gave us a second chance and he gave us salvation so that we can be saved from this wicked nation. Amen. He's a lamb slain who overcame and he's coming back once again to reclaim the kingdom of heaven. Let the saints say amen. Our Father in heaven sees everything. Amen, amen. Can I get an amen? Let Jesus save you from the devastation that's coming to this wicked nation through God's proclamation that we are all in dire eradication and this world is coming to a dire cessation because you refuse the salvation. So receive the salvation from Jesus and live freely with him. He will remove all of your sin. He will live within. He will open your eyes and help you to see. Amen. And he'll give you the victory. Jesus will snatch you from that evil grasp of Satan. He'll open your eyes and show you the mistakes you've been making. He'll set you free. He'll give you the victory. Walk with him and live with him eternally. Let him live within. He'll take away all of your sins. Amen, amen. And the beginning will not be the end. Your beginning will not be the end. I hope you're listening, brother. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his di disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye, not all these things. Verily I say unto you, there shall be not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the mount of olive, the disciples came unto him privately. Tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of the coming of the end of the world?